Okay. Now, let's go one step further. Okay. Import configuration. If configuration.testing, then do that, else do that. Okay? Now let's go and create configuration.py. Testing equals true. Uh, threshold equals 0 0.5. And uh, weekday equals Friday. Okay? I have a Python file with all of the parameters that my program needs to run. Am I in testing mode? What's the signal processing threshold? What day of the week is I mean, I probably wouldn't put the day of the week in a configuration file. Let me change that to be something like um, sensitivity equals low. A right? bunch of control parameters for my program. They're all in one file. Okay? That's a Python file. So I import it and I refer to that variable. Okay? I don't have to have some sort of a configuration file reader <coughs> that goes, reads this file as text using file open and read line, splits it on equal signs, does a string equality comparison to see which parameter name it is, looks up the value, stuffs them in a dictionary. Python does all of that for me. When I import, it says, right, I am going to create three variables. They're going to be called testing threshold and sensitivity. They're going to have that values. All of that work that in Java or C++ I would have to write code to do Open the file, read it line by line, split it on equal signs, strip off the space, see if this is a name that we recognize. If so, decide whether to convert that to a Boolean, a floating point number, or leave it as a string, stuff it into a dictionary, blah, 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 make coffee. Right? Here, when I do this, Python does all of that because that's Python source code. It's also really easy to edit, isn't it? How do I change the threshold to 0 0.75? Come on, people. <laughs> You were expecting it to be harder, weren't you? Right? And now, of course, what I will do is in all of my libraries that need configuration data, I will import configuration. It's just a Python file. They can all import it. And that way, the parameters are specified once in one place, and everybody sees the same values. So I just import configuration into my signal processing library, into my GUI, into my etc., into my etc. This is how you manage the configuration of your program. All right. Yes, if you've only got two parameters, pass them on the command line or something like that. That's fine. If you've got 30 parameters you've got to set, you're going to stuff them in a file anyway. Why not make it a Python file in version control? All right. So that all right. the version control system will fill in the revision number. So that as I change my parameters, I can commit that. The revision number will be whatever the stamp was that the version control system gave me. I don't have to do that manually. Version control does that. We saw how to do that. I can then copy this data forward into my output. We saw how to do that. And I'm done. Okay. This makes sense? Okay. It's, it's an easy way to do it. One of the reasons I do this more and more is if I do something like um, filter, if I want to write a configuration file that I'm going to read myself that allows you to have lists of values, you know, here the filter parameter is plural, it's a pain. In Python, I can just say 0.0, 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.7. Right? I've got lists and dictionaries and other structures so that when I need multi-valued parameters, when I need the richness, I've got it there. I don't have to write code to say, right, how do I do multiple values for my filter? Oh, I've got to read the string, and I've got to break it on commas, and then I've got to blah, blah. No, you've got a programming language, and it's a dynamic one. Use that. Okay. Same trick will work in MATLAB, it'll work in Perl, it'll work in Ruby. It won't work in compiled languages like C++, Java, and C Sharp. There is a way to get the same effect. Okay? But if you don't know how to dynamically modify the class path of the JVM, right? don't even think about it. And if you do know how to dynamically modify the class path of the JVM, you should understand why 
a little shiver went up my spine as I said those words. Right? There is a way to trick other languages into giving you this same capability, but when it goes wrong, it is completely untraceable. Okay? So don't do it. Okay. Everybody okay with what I just did here? Okay. Any line of code that you don't write is a line of code you don't have to debug. Good programmers are lazy. Great programmers are not only lazy, they're arrogant. I don't have to write code and I know I can do this. Right? Confidence is a big part of it. So, they're occasionally wrong. Okay. You understand what that is for. You understand that as I commit, this will do an update on the version number. You understand that I'm importing that to get my configuration values in so that I don't have to write code to load configuration. I import the same file everywhere so that I'm sure it's consistent. And when I want to change things, one change in one place and it affects everything. And I'm done. Everybody understand why this is a good design? Okay. Do it this way or some local variation on this. VB will let you do this. C Sharp won't. Right? C Sharp is statically compiled. VB is a dynamic language like Python. There will be a mechanism. Find it. Use it, please. Please. Sorry, I'm missing something. So if you want to import this file and then be able to stick the revision number into your output of your results. Yeah, I wouldn't put it in a comment. I would have, I would have something like... Um, version equals that. And down here, I would refer to configuration.version. Yeah, the comments disappeared. Yeah, I would put it in a string. Sorry. Okay? So, the, if you were using this with the nose test, would you... Um, what I was thinking is, would there be a scenario where you want to run with different, like, some of your objects and test and some of them not? Yep. And, like, so would you like, you know, it seems to make sense to me that you would like run a new test and the nose test would be like, okay, I'm going to change all these values to true or false. Yep. Looking those for the setup and teardown functions.